Look at it so very easy. My name is Laura, and when I travel, I do like to have some kind of a handcraft available for me to do. Now, I travel a lot, so I have a lot of these little things set up ready to go, so I could just grab them and go along. So I just came back from a trip, and this is what I travel with. It is a great big bag. This bag is great because I can put my sunglasses in it, my suntan lotion, band-aids, anything that I need can fit in this bag, regardless if I'm in a car, train, boat, or an airplane. And I just came back, so I have lots in this purse, but the most important thing in my purse is my needlework. So this is just a wooden box that I picked up at a hobby store and I painted. Put some little decoration on it just to make me happy. And I rigged up the inside to work for me to do some type of handcrafts. And right now I have a cross stitch project in here. So let's open it up and see what all I've thrown in here. I think you'll be quite surprised. So in my purse I have my wallet disinfectant wipes, sunglasses, a mask, keys, I'd be lost without my fan, something to fix my hair with, and a couple of clips with my hair, business cards, toothbrush, a protein bar, and an extra pair of socks. That's just in my purse. But in my sewing box, now in here I do have a cross stitch project on the go and all the supplies that I need fit right in here. It does look a little bit messy because, well, I've been traveling. So on the top of the box I did glue in some magnets. And that way my needles will just snap right in place and my scissors will snap in place. If I'm on a plane I do not bring my sharp little scissors. I have this tiny little pair that so far the airport has never taken from me. And I have it on a little magnet. This is one of these little magnet things that fit on your clothing. And that's really handy for adding the scissors or even the pins. So magnets and metal is what I really like in the top. So inside, I do have a cross stitch project. It's just a simple one, nothing that is a lot of work, something fun so that if I make a mistake, like I did on this plug, well, no one is going to be the wiser. So I do have my directions, and this is what I will be making. And I do fold it so it's going to fit right inside. This little bag is the bag of scraps. These are extra colors that I think I might pull into the project. A small hoop so that I have something to hold on to. And that hoop does fit inside. And we all need some Kleenex at some point. I have an eyeglass cleaner, well, because I need to see in order to work. I took my earrings off, so hopefully there's two there. There's my two earrings. And I do have a needle threader. On one side, there's a little cutter, and on the other side is that little hook to pull the thread through. I did put a magnet on it so it stays in place. I have my threads all on these floss keepers. Okay, I guess I needed two of these little threaders. I just keep throwing stuff in here. A little dressmaking ruler, lip gloss, aspirin, and this is a wax that I like to wax my thread with. Mint. And a seam ripper. 
So two things that I make sure that I take out of this if I am going on a plane, sharp scissors, and this very sharp seam ripper. So those I take out and put aside and I'll replace them with these little scissors. And this has a tiny, tiny little blade on it. And so far, I have been on probably 10 planes and they've not taken them, at least not yet. So this is what's in my box. More than really is necessary. I just keep throwing stuff in there and then every once in a while I clean it out. Now when I do do my cross stitching, I start and prepare it before I put it in my box. Around the outsides, instead of doing a zigzag, I just put a line of glue and I let that glue set and that way this doesn't fray on me. You'll notice this little wedge mark. This wedge mark is identifying my first row of stitching. So this is the order that my first cross is going to go in. So the second cross will go in the other direction. I don't think you can see it here, but I do have light pink thread that marks the center. As I come to it, I just remove it. I did find a project to do when this one is done. And it is in the most recent a needle pulling thread. It's a simple little rose. So I will prepare this pattern in advance. So I have my thread lines as my marking. I will fill my floss up in my little floss keepers and I'll put this aside so that it'll be ready to go. So just like the Dr. Seuss book with green eggs and ham, I can take this on a boat, I can take this on a float, I can take this in a train, I can take this on a plane, I can pretty much take this anywhere. So if you like to do any type of a small handwork, these little boxes that you can paint up yourself are definitely a lot of fun to prepare. You can still have this at home and do your work, but as you're running out the door, you can always grab that and it's ready to go. And that is what is in my travel bag. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe on my Facebook, Instagram, and I do have a newsletter all under So Very Easy. Come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.